right, so from here I should be able to remember the very end of the quest. Oh man, I got a bug level. Large pieces of metal that can be melted down for smaller pieces of metal, which can then be used for a variety of things. Bullets, weapons, armor, the whole nine yards. I love how they're using the flame track to cook things. It's actually rather ingenious. Headshot. <laughs> Hold still, you little fuck. I aimed at the enemy who got in the way. You got in the way, Lydia. Another excuse for it. Uh, I can sell that off. And the book, The Authorium Wars. Ah, uh, crap, i starting to overheat. Well, or just the fans starting to rotate at, um, higher speeds now. It makes this really annoying high-pitched whining sound. It's just very annoying. Eight explosive crossbow bolts, bitches!
Gotcha. Whoa, what the hell? It was just an explosion of items. Okay, I could use that cog, that gear, gyro, that other cog. All why is there a wooden longbow in here? Seriously, what's the point in level less? I should be able to get, I don't know, a dwarven crossbow out of this place. At least. More raw materials. Funny thing is, is like, the dwarves, at least in Skyrim, are supposed to be the same height as humans. Why is everything so much smaller then? Or at least that's what the lore says. Which to me just is very weird. I mean, like, like, like maybe if I was sitting at the, no, this doesn't even look like it'd be comfortable sitting at. It's way too short. I look really weird right now, but actually, that that's not bad. It just looks shorter for some reason. My armor <laughs> looks really freaking weird. <laughs> Uh, that's empty. Okay. Just notice that chest sticking out of the side of debris. A pile of debris. Everything is so hard to kill. Why me? right now. a way to deactivate them from this side. Not that I've ever seen. There probably is. Somewhere. Okay, how do I usually get up this? Okay, my dog's dead. Lydia got beaten. Jump! Ow! I mean, I know it's supposed to be impossible, but come on! There's gotta be a switch up top or something. Why are 
are you not moving? Oh, caring too much to be able to run. My pack meals would get up here. Let me switch the lever something. There has to be something here. I see nothing to turn it off. Lydia's still down there. Lydia will catch up eventually. She always does. <laughs> Same kind, you and I. And what do you need to take? What do I need to give? A lot of heavy shit. Let's go. There we go. Now I can move. Once Lydia catches up to us, we should. I should be able to give the rest of the shit to her. Okay, there's Lydia. I am your sword and your shield. I'm glad she doesn't How can I bitch serve me you, out for leaving her there. Okay, and she's out of weight too. Weird. Lead on. Where I gave you enough shit that you could carry at least as much as me. Mm. That's an executable script, not something I can avoid. So logically, well, no, this is pretty this is pretty well closed off. It builds character. You shouldn't have stepped forward. Oh, right above me. Wonderful. Um, 
not like they're gonna take a shit, so it's not that bad. It's carrying some kind of ice spell. Legs go. For that matter, where'd its head go? Wow. What if they e they eat the skeevers or the Koros skeevers? Poison on me. You want poison? I'll give you poison. Die. Eh, nothing good. Come on, get out of the fucking way. who built this place were sometimes called dwarves, but history records that they were no shorter than humans. <laughs> That's where I came from. Oh, where's that lever? I don't recall where that lever is. Now. Oh, of course, it's down here. Silly me. remember everything. It'd be awesome, but it'd also be a pain in the butt. going way the fuck over there seriously I, I don't even know what's controlling this thing right now there we go it's like I click once it goes to the far side of the goddamn skill tree and it's just like I understand what they're going after with it but come on you didn't need to make it so shitty okay it should be right through here a little bit farther in, I think. And you want to avoid that button. Don't, Lydia, don't step on that button, please. 
good she didn't step on it. Did they say the Jord can't step on the button? Okay, good. button on the floor, what do you think happens? Yeah, some of the some of these traps are only obvious after the second or third time true through, but um eventually you get used to spotting them. Which button was it again? I know like three of these buttons are flames, one of the buttons actually does something you want it to do. I can't remember which one off the top of my head. I think it was that one. Cool! First guess. And this place is full of chorus. Don't open the door. are probably one of the most annoying enemies in the game simply because I have no idea what the hell their weakness is. They don't seem to be weak, yet nothing seems to be particularly strong against them. It took me forever to figure out this one the first time around. Now we all know what it is, right? We all played this game, right? Right? That's what I thought. We all have. because I can't pick that up. It's also really annoying because there's no breath meter in this game. question is, did one of the Falmore actually have the key and then leave with it? Or were these guys, did these guys just live 
grow up in that small area for some reason. Well, Lydia knows how to handle them. Just whack them over the head a few times with a giant axe. Okay, I thought there was something else in here. I guess not. There's a lot of fo just a lot of chorus eggs. Okay. Now for the boss fight of the century. Take responsibility, Lydia. You knock the body into the freaking water. Uh, Dwarven helmet. Shock suppression, nice. Mm. Here's light. All of that is fairly useful for me. Person in front of me because she's in the bloody way. more of that ore around here. Guess not. Take all that. You'll sell it off I for have a to say, penny. I'm glad that's over. That's the last one, isn't it? It's it's almost time. I'll meet you at the forge. Okay. And that's the end of this episode. <laughs> Try to get this open. Damn it. There we go, finally. An iron shield and some gold. Really? Oh, this is where the rest of it is. Give me all of the Ethereum. I'm going to need it. For my awesome power armor and my new awesome rifle. Let's get out of here. Mm. Yep. 3,000 RPM is the sound, the time at which it makes that awful sound. And that's it. <laughs> that is the end of this recording session for me at least. I hope this was enjoyable for you, my rambling on and me getting killed multiple times for various things. <sighs> Have a pleasant day.